Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Aftermath channel. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I got a lot of shit going on, and I'm, I'm in between like some bull bullshit right now. As far as like uh, being strong and trying to lose weight, um, I possibly might be a part of something that will require me to be strong, right? But just like a week ago or a couple days ago, I came out and said that hey, you know, I'm trying to lose weight, trying to drop down to 215. So I'm in a very strange position right now. And my training is like, I come into the gym and I'm in a like, you know, I'm like, yo, what do I do? Do I go for a strength test for powerlifting? Or do I do what I want to do, which is cut? So my thing is, you know what? I've been in situations like this. All I need to do is pretty much stay into, you know, my sets, you know, for strength, at least maintenance. Uh, of strength while adding in some conditioning, you know, so I'm adding in conditioning, running on the treadmill, I do 30 minutes, um, doing track work, you know, my favorite thing that I have all my online clients do and in-person clients do is uh, 10 sets of um, 100 yard dashes, sprints, you know, full recovery each sprint, and come in and just do my regular training. I got some fireball right now that I'm trying out for fat burning. These are not sponsors. I just picked it up. I just took this like 15 minutes ago and my insides are, are burning. They're burning. So shout out to Get Yoked in the gym. They're right across in the Glendale Mall. They're right across from Gold's Gym. So shout out to them. But we're going to hit some upper body today. Hit some chest. I'm going to focus on a little bit of strength. All right, maybe hit, hit about like uh, some sets of three. So sets of five and sets of three. I then focus on some repetition. Uh, for the bench, and then we'll move on to other upper body movements. Uh. Pyramid sets are always supreme when it comes to strength and formation of the chest. So we want to hit Barbell on regular bench, dumbbell on incline. We're gonna hit some flies, and then we'll switch over to training some back exercises. I'll probably add in some dips to that as well. Apex, right here, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Check out the channel right now. Go to the channel. I need all my gamers right now. Go to the channel, not only follow, but actually come to the streams. You feel me? Because I be going off. You know what? You know what? I, I'm gonna show y'all how much I be going off right now. You lost. Yo, I saw that? That's fucking, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm the GOAT. I'm GOATed. I'm GOATed, slow boated, show boated. Let's go.
15, 12, warm up. Go, go for eight. Before you guys say, oh, Terrell is no, he's just a heavyweight. I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to, there's nothing I need to prove to anybody anymore. I'm done with that mentality. Thinking that I need a bitch over 400 or some pounds every fucking workout. I'm done with that shit. So, you see me not going as heavy every uh, exercise as I usually do. I'm done. I'm, I'm done trying to kill myself. And, and constantly suffer all this shit, and joint pain, and all this, like, I'm just done, bro. Like, here and there, I'll go up and wait. But other than that, I'm doing my actual workouts. Usually, I only do those for, like, videos, for video purposes, but this is more of a learning experience for majority of you anyways, so there's really no need for me to even push that far and try to be all crazy like that, so. Yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. Don't come out of my comment areas with all that bullshit talking about, oh, what's, what's going on, man? You're feeling pretty weak. You're looking pretty weak. Like, no, I'm not looking pretty weak or feeling pretty weak. I just don't want to do it because I don't. I don't do it every workout. So, and I'll, that's my fault for pushing that on everybody. Like, this is what I hit every workout when it's not the case. So, I want to be more realistic even though, I mean, some of my numbers aren't realistic anyways, I want to be more realistic in what I actually do on the daily. That being said, four reps. situated and I do three to four sets of the incline. It's supposed to be dumbbell. This is like a little single. I'm gonna do this instead on the machine. Three to four sets, 12 reps. Burn it. Uh, recover time is about a minute and 30 seconds. Yo, the stretch right here is already enough to get me tired. Like burning. Hey. <sighs> Fuck it out of here. Fuck it out of here. All right, so now we got flies. I'm probably gonna try to get some flies in and push ups. Superset. The pump and the stretch. The pump and the stretch pump which is good to add in for volume when it comes to chest training. Volume and cutting. The thing about the chest is the chest shows that, you know, a lot of inflation, you know, as the shoulders or biceps would because of that bubble effect it has. So, you know, we want to get that swole watery look and create more of them striations, man. More of them striations. Actually, I really don't hit the dip, so I might just do flies and pull-ups. Instead. Did you set the 15?
advice to all of those who want to work on a certain area the most train that area three times a week that is when i talk to i've talked to many people many 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 types of people many types of shapes or whatever and when somebody trains something three times a week they see the best results i think that's 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 like the max you should train something three times a week you know we only got seven days out of the week so three times a week you want to work on your bench train bench three times a week you want bigger legs ass glutes quads classic goes the same thing quads hamstrings train that three times a week especially for the ladies they want to train lower body if you want to get your lower body situated and get better in better shape they make that you know that thick that ratio correct three times a week want to burn more fat high intensity cardio three times a week i wouldn't say every day because just like training your muscles as such as i'm doing right now cardio takes a toll on the body as well you have to recover on that as well so three times a week is enough for everything that you want to develop and you just take you just do it in segments like all right i'm gonna get my bench up or my chest my chest better three times a week boom get that once you get that done all right now it's time to bring my legs up try to maintain do your two times a week for that body part that you did before maintain it and then move on to something else and you just cycle it boom 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 switch it chest boom 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 legs boom 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 arms you know what i'm saying and you just continue to do that and i feel like that's been like the best thing for me lately i've been everywhere i've just been i don't know what i've been doing three times a week i've just been doing everything so let's say it's monday i'm doing chest and back right so i'll switch it up monday will be like bench barbell um incline you know dumbbell and you know some back exercises the next one will be incline barbell i mean incline barbell and chest dumbbell you know just switch the segments so i'm, I'm done venting to y'all get back to this last set in to 15 so I'll fill out the weight if I need to go up a little bit then I'll go up I want to be right heavy enough to where once I hit that 10 I'm fighting for that last five Swole watch, <laughs> swole watch. That's the old name. S Force watches. Use code Aftermath for no discount, but you get a fifty-dollar gift when you order a watch. So, link in the description. pull-ups we did this I'm gonna do one more exercise for probably some rows upright set to 20 crazy I used to think 
pump was a steroid analogy. It's like, pump? I don't know what a pump is. I don't know what you steroid people take. You and your pump. And then I realized what a pump was. This was years ago. Because as an athlete, like, you know, we didn't grow up knowing these terms. And like, training athletically, we just, we were taught to just go through burnouts. Just burnout, burnout, burnout. Everything you know maximum what? reps, everything explosive fast, you. until you can't you anymore. Me. Endurance, and which in all leads to the pump, which is that burn or that sensation that you can't do that movement anymore. So for athletes, it's just the burn. For you bodybuilders, it's the pump. So there's that. Nope. Same thing, 10 to 15 reps. We're gonna do upright rows. Boom, boom, dumbbells. Just so I can get that split. A little bit more free motion when you're using the dumbbells for this movement. Cause you gotta be careful about those joint attachments when it comes to the shoulders, up into the neck, the collarbone. So you want that free motion. Cause this side might be lower than this side, you know? And that barbell can make that worse. I'm off the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you took some of the information I gave you to, uh, to mind and put those into work. So shout out to all of you. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. You already know, games and games, baby. We out here. I'm gonna go eat now. My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. You lost. Bro,